All right, my muddy friends. So we speak a lot about training for Tough Mudder and different obstacles. But the elephant in the room seems to be the 10 to 12 miles. It's an endurance event. And I'm here with a friend of mine, Simon Donato, and he's gonna to talk to us a little bit about training your endurance. Hey guys. Yeah, I mean, endurance is my thing. Uh, some of you may know me from the, my television show, Boundless. Three years traveling the world, doing the biggest, toughest endurance races that you can find out there. If you wanna be successful on race day, you need to have a perfect mix of strength and endurance. Let's break it down. Let's do it. How about some endurance tips? The biggest challenge with endurance training is really getting started. Taking that first step, getting your butt out the door and going for a run or a walk. You gotta walk before you can run. So if endurance is new to your, your training regime, start by walking a little bit. Then you build up to a walk run. And then once it becomes a little more natural, uh, a little more comfortable, then you just start building up the volume on your runs. The biggest challenge with endurance is patience. You gotta give it time. Be patient with yourself build some proper milestones, and that way you work yourself up to the 10, 12 mile. You wanna add in that hiking and walking because it's actually a different movement on the body and it may not seem like much, but even in my own experience in big ultra races, when I start walking, when I get tired and, and you're going uphill or something, you can get blisters from that. When I run, you're usually fine. So to, to train those different movements, you also move different muscles. So it's good to kind of put the full range uh, through your body because yeah, these tough mutters can be tough. When I'm out training, typically it's endurance. I mean, if you look at my body, I'm a, I'm a lean runner. Right. So I'm not as much of a gym guy, although I do appreciate strength. So when I'm out and I've got a big day, sometimes I'll break it up a little bit and just see what's around me in whatever natural setting I'm at. You know, if you're out there, what about picking up a rock or a couple, right. putting them in the backpack? I used to do that all the time when I lived in the mountains. So we can load up our pack, put it on our backs, pretty simple. Yeah. Most people have a pack laying around. Right? Exactly. Put some rocks in it and carry it up some hills. Find you some nice heavy ones. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big fellow. I can handle it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh goodness. <laughs> so we changed things slightly. Now we're adding uh, a little bit of strength to our endurance. Yeah. Exactly. And then we're gonna blast our quads as we go up the hill, which is the most important thing. Little gluteus blastimus. <laughs> so another, another fun thing when. We're out and about is to look for odd things to carry and lift. I mean, that's the name of the game, right? Build some strength in the hands, the upper body. You build a little bit of grit, too. You learn to embrace uh, the suck. Oh, yeah. You want to switch? Yeah. Three, two, one, press up. <laughs> kind of two for one there, a little shoulder press. Boop. That was fun. So, what do you want to do with these? You know, Endurance racing, mudder racing, you gotta be gritty as well as strong. To build grit, you know, grit's that, like, oh my God, this is sucking, I kinda wanna give up. Walk, carrying rocks, it's gonna build grip strength, so that's your free strength, you're walking and hiking, that's your endurance, and it's gonna build grit, because you're gonna wanna hang on to these for as long as you can, and especially those final few seconds when you're like, ah, oh, hang on. Dig deep. Dig deep, that's your moment. So you're, we're getting endurance, grit, and strength, three huge components to Tough Mudder, right here with some simple rocks. Carrying a few rocks that we found on the side of the trail. Let's go for a walk. Doing your workouts outside, especially when you're racing outside, I mean, you've got to do it. Uh, in addition to walking on uneven surfaces, running on uneven surfaces, and getting the body used to being a little bit more agile and cat-like, it's just, it's rejuvenating for the mind, and you forget, you know, your problems of life as you're focused on the trail ahead of you, or, you know, amazed by the beautiful views around you. So, yeah, getting outside in nature and making that your playground and your gym, that's the best way to train. So try to get off the treadmill and out into nature's gym. Yes. Let's, let's keep going. All right, man, let's, uh, let's spice things up here and do a few sprints up this road to kind of complement our run and hike. Well, Tough Mudder is 10 to 12 miles. We're not gonna sprint that whole time, so why are we even working on that? True, good point. Sprinting's been shown through tons and tons of research to really build capacity. So this ultra short, high intensity workout, yeah, complements what we're doing with the longer, slower stuff. So sprint hard, you're still building endurance. 
Cheater! Simon, thanks so much for joining me and helping myself and Mudder Nation come a little bit closer to becoming amazing endurance athletes. It's a great day uh, spent out here with the coach, really had a good time. You know, endurance is such a key part of uh, obstacle course racing, especially mudder racing. And You know, you get outside, you can do so many different things. Hike, run, sprint, hike and walk, and incorporating strength into it too, huge part of it. And again, it's all around you, carrying rocks, working on agility doing all sorts of things, logs. You don't have to look far and you don't have to do it in the gym. So keep getting creative. Keep joining us every Thursday. Thanks so much. You just got coachified. Boom.